Hello everybody, welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Factorio. So what is going on today? Well, we're going to continue where we left off. And what that is, I'm not too sure because I play this about once a week. It's all the time I have currently. At the time of recording this, we are, was it December 12th? So good news, my computer has shipped, so that's exciting. And so as soon as I get that, I'll be able to hopefully step up my game a little bit. Not sure how that's going to look. Not sure what kind of scheduling that will look like. But I do want to make sure that we... Or we... Why am I saying we? I just want to make sure that I produce content, right? Because I'm going to get a new computer. I might as well create some videos and whatnot. Play some games that I've purchased over the years that I haven't really been able to play properly. I want to play games like No Man's Sky and stuff like that. Many of you may have seen that already or seen that kind of stuff. And if so, well, continue watching your favorite people. Otherwise, just watch me. <laughs> so what do we need? What do we need? Well, we need some more drills. We might as well snag some drills here so we have a bunch of drills then we might as well snag some turrets because we might as well have a bunch of turrets to place right then we need to snag some ammo which is should be always produced pretty much yeah so this is very slow not sure why so we are going to have to increase what's happening here and that means we should make some of these bad boys. We should load this into our system. We should make uh, arms off of here somewhere. So maybe further up we'll make some arms. Because I'm getting tired of making them by hand. You always have to wait for all these components. Because of marathon mode, it's going to make it longer. And just so you all know that as of this recording as well, December 12th, uh, Factorio version 16 is going to be, or 0 0.16 or whatever is going to be coming out. We're at 0 0.15, I think. So, yeah, so so expect that to drop anytime soon, which means that I will be restarting the world. And I'm not going to do marathon mode again, I don't think, because I think marathon mode is a bit challenging. It might be a little bit over my head on that one. I'm not too sure. I like to, sh to show everybody things, right? I like to show you what's going on. And so the only way for me to be able to do that is to to play a level that I'm confident at. This marathon mode stuff was amazing, and I, and I like it. But I think it's more of a, a personal game. Uh, I wouldn't really want to do this out in public, per se, like what I'm doing with this series. I just wanted to give it a shot, try something different, call it marathon mode to see if it would get more views and the videos did get more views in the beginning but like every other series right the first few videos people watch and then it trails off drastically it's quite an interesting phenomena it'd be interesting to see if people commented and if, why they didn't like something just out of curiosity's sake just to see if there's anything to improve on i probably know what there is to improve on because i'm no pro but same note man the pros they had to start somewhere, right? Um, another neat thing with with the next version is there's there's an an artillery train that they added. So they added like an artillery cart, so that way you could shoot the biters at a distance. Uh, the only problem is, of course, they're going to come in and attack you. And then there's a few other you know, enhancements to the game, your new world generation features, and blah blah blah. So it should be quite interesting. And I'm going to do my counting thing here. So I'm going to place these and so enjoy the music. I have to mute the mic here for a second. See, if I had the time, I would edit out pieces like that, where I mute the the mic, I, I do what I need to do, then I come back. 
Because, see, I have allergies, so if there's anything with my breathing or anything like that, you'll notice that it's nasally or anything like that, or I'll breathe with my mouth a lot, which will have the breathing. Uh, it's kind of funny how someone in a video said that, oh, you should get your breathing checked out. No, my breathing's fine. That's not the issue. The other issue is I need to get off my ass and work out and do something about my fatness, I, I'll call it, because I know and I recognize that pretty obvious but hey well whatever there's reasons for everything so I don't think that's enough one two three four five so I'm placing these so that way we have a defense all the way around um, someone also asked in the previous video why I use double walls it's because I find the double walls last the longest it gives you time to react to a situation. So if you see you down here in the messages, uh, when you get attacked and stuff, they come up and it'll tell you what they're attacking if you mouse over it. And if they're attacking the wall, then I know that I have another layer, so I need to come and deal with it. So if they're hitting a part of the wall that doesn't have any turrets, I need to haul my ass there and deal with it before they break through. All right? This just gives you that chance and that time. All right? I find that a single wall is just not enough. So, yeah, so for your main walls, I would always do double. <laughs> and then I always go space behind, so that way you leave room to run around in between the turrets. And then I would always put, like, the laser turrets or something behind these turrets. So I usually have a row of these bullet turrets, because it's usually the first generation. And the next generation of turrets go right behind, and usually they're lasers. And they'll just add to... To all of this right it shows you the range of the turrets as well in the green there which is pretty cool so I just want to make sure that we place this correctly five uh, one 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 two three four five so so we can probably put this one so six one two Six, probably one, two, three, four, five, six. That looks good. It's kind of closer, kind of further apart, but it's going to work. That should work. And we, of course, need more ammo. <laughs> ammo is the the bane of, of everything, right? Because we, we want to have these all loaded up, but we only have so much to go around. And as you can see, we're producing them at a slow rate. So hopefully that that blue-handed, uh, that quick, what is it called, fast inserter, hopefully that will solve the issue. We'll have to go back and see if we can optimize it some more, which, which most likely we can. We can probably add another arm to it. You can do so much to, to, to all of these things, right? Even if you come up with your own system, you can do that too. Um, turrets. Yeah, I don't think we need fast ones for that. We need fast one for the ammo because we need the ammo to be non-stop. And I think it's a little bit faster, which is okay. I don't mind it doing that. That's fair. Uh, let's see how many. Oh, yes, way better. Way better. <laughs> so I want to grab full stacks only. And see, we have an attack, and it's already dealt with, so not a problem, not a problem. We're probably going to penetrate through right here. Uh, penetrate through, that's kind of funny. Ah, that's better, this is all filled up now. There was an issue where it wasn't filled up, so I was kind of worried, but now I think we're okay. I'll leave a stack of wood on me in case we need it to build anything. So last episode we added more drills to this and this because we need a more input and it looks like we have that now. It looks like everything is operating as expected. So is this up here. So adding it to the array or to all of this allowed us to bring in more, more copper. A lushable echo commented on just how this all starts to look like spaghetti at some point. Yeah, you're right. It does. But the point of the bus is kind of like your early factory. So it's not so much as, as making these, because you can make all these by hand, but I always like to automate things. I always like to have things being automated so that way then you don't have to build it anymore. 
and then you just pick it up and then eventually what will happen is you turn these all into to um, um, I'm trying to think of the chests. They're they're chests that you can do to add to, to the logistics network, uh, logistics chests. And then what they will do is then if you have robots in the system and everything, they'll be able to to bring you all the stuff. And yeah, and then it's, it's just like ordering from a store. In your inventory, you'll get a part that you get to manipulate that allows that. Uh, and we're almost done doing the solar panels. So the solar panels we can place in the corner here. It's kind of where we can do it right here. You still need to add turrets all the way around. It's a lot of work for that. A lot of work for that. Let's see here. I'm just kind of letting the factory operate. So what's the next big thing we need to do? We need to build. Kind of need to build these bad boys. But it's going to be complicated to, to make them, I think. Because we need to make these inserters, which I think already are right here. So, I would almost have a, a filter. I don't know. We could essentially take these and bring them up. And then we could bring the iron gears and circuits over this way. With the arms coming up from the bottom. Okay, and then we could do gear and plates. So, We'll make the gear be a full one that comes down. That way we can make it mix. We can split it off, kind of cut through the resources that way. And then this one would just be the blue insert. Okay, I think we could automate this. It'd be interesting to try. We should automate those. Do we have underground belts? Let's see here. No, we do not. So... We could just do iron plate and transport belt. So we could do that right here even. So we could go like this. Because this will be full. So then we can just do this. I think. Uh, like this. Ah, uh, we're going to have to put it in the middle. So that way we have that. Uh, we only need to make one stack of these. We don't need much of them. And then we can do one of these, and then we can do this. Now that's going to be automated. Let's see how this looks. And we don't need it to make anything too quickly, because it's just basically these underground belts right down here. All right. So there you go. So that's automated. That's easy. <laughs> you know, we're going to have to rip this all up at some point anyways and redo it. But for now, uh, what else are we doing? Oh, look at that. We can make these now. So they use the magazine, steel, and copper. See, my problem is the steel. If you look down here, this is, this is where we do the steel. So we almost need to make a split and bring the steel up. Or the you bring the, the plates up and then kind of put the steel stuff here. We also don't have any stone being being crafted and this goes unbelievably slow so I think we need to upgrade the the smelters and then once we upgrade the smelters we will be able to increase steel production and then we'll be able to kind of mess around with all this kind of change a layout maybe even expand our territory down this way chop up some trees we need to lay some some miners for here and yeah that's done Electric distribution. Oh, I don't. Oh, cool! I didn't do the solar energy yet. Right on. Okay. So what's next? What's next? What do I want to do next? Well, let's do the tool belts because that adds ten extra slots. So we do need to complete that. See, we have all these up here to complete. When I start getting attacked, I will definitely. Oh no! Here we go. This is what we want to do. We'll do the advanced material processing, so that way then we can. Um, get the better furnaces i might also expand this might kind of change this a bit so that way it comes down and then there's be there'll be some units i don't know a lot of this is pretty cramped usually initially there's a lot of trees in the new version they're going to get rid of the trees so because there's going to be a starting area that you can build your factory in that doesn't have anything 
So that's kind of exciting. And we need to start taking care of some biters. So it's gonna kind of go over this way. We've got stone here. We've got some biters here. How many do we have? Okay, so my tactic with the biters is very simple. You see this and that, right? And I help them, and then we just kind of carry on. Ah, come on! The tree's in the way. Ah! <laughs> okay, so we need to place, we need to put that in there. Okay, good, good, good. Come on, come on, brah. Let's see how many bullets we're going to go through. Yes, die. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so let's grab this turret back here. So this is, I always do a turret creep, because it works. That's my strategy. And I'm sticking with it. <laughs> I like it. Seems to do the trick, but we need to make sure our turret is safe. So we gotta focus on the little baddies as they come springing out of their 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 thingy. And one more bullet thing there. Nice. Okay, looks like we have this one mastered. Woohoo! We did it. Now these, oh okay, cool, we do have repair packs, that is awesome. I wonder if I have those automated. We should see if we have those automated. I only made five and it used up a lot of resources. Crazy. Oh, it looks like they have it. Oh, cool. So this is new. You never used to be able to stack these you know, damaged ones together, but now it looks like they do, which is, which is absolutely amazing. So I'm just repairing these, so that way we can get them back into circulation. Okay, now I'm going to go up in this direction because there's some more biters up here. And how many, how many bullets do we have? We'll come back, we'll come back and take care of them. So that wasn't too bad, those biters weren't too hard. We'll have to take care of those ones up top there for sure because that's where our troubles are coming from. And then that will give us a little bit of a reprieve for a short period of time. Biters don't usually attack infrastructure too much. Uh, they should, but they don't, I don't think. Unless they deem it super important. You'd think that they would deem this important because it's fuel, right? Fuel line. But I don't think they distinguish that, so which is good. So I'm coming back up here to see what kind of ammo is made. Yeah, see it's taking more off the line, which is giving it less to come down this way to build the gears. Yeah, <laughs> but it's functioning, and once this is full, right, and this is full, then this will stop being consumed, and then it leaves all the iron for this line, for all the gears, which then is producing, well, it's just being used up along the way, up all the way up to here, and all the way up to here, ultimately. Huh. Love this. I just love automating. Um... Oh way, wow, we got lots of ammo. Let's go take care of those biters. And I should save the game actually. Save the game regularly, that's very important. I think there's a hotkey for it. I wanna say F what, five? F five? No, F five does something different, it gives you status. Um <laughs> I am going to hit escape, I'm gonna save game, save game. Okay. Because if you die, that's it. Game over. All right, the map's over. Um, I think they're they're introducing a hardcore mode as well, where it just deletes the map. Yeah, don't worry, buddies. We're gonna take care of your family. Soon there won't be very many bugs. So let's see here. I have to mute. Mm, and I also, I should have said earlier, do you have your drinks or your tasty treats, folks? Because I do. I have my water. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, that feels good. Um. Okay. So, oh shit. Ah, come on. Ah. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. And this I don't think heals. If it does heal, we have to eat the fishies, which are there's a bunch of fish here. We can get them out. So now we can basically plop another turret. And we should be repairing that. Is it being attacked? And this, we'll just let this thing do its thing. I know there's that that guy shooting, which is fine. Ah, yes. Yes. Okay, okay. We can repair this. Oh, that guy ran away. Did you see that? That's pretty cool. Okay, now we can plop down another turret. Oh, come on. No, I right-clicked, but because the thing did its that save, it kind of stopped mid-track. And this actually really needs to be on my hotbar. There we go. Let's shoot as well. Now this is an expensive way of taking them out, but looks like that's where they were coming from is that base. I also see this area up here, so we're going to need to take care of that. Can we zoom in on that area? No. There is. Can we zoom in? Yes, so we can do this. So if you had, see, if you have an area that's that's uncovered by radar, you can see in it, right? And which means you can zoom right in, and you can almost interact with things, but you can't, which is pretty cool, pretty useful. That's uh, another change that they've done. It's gonna smash this because it's almost toast. Okay, so let's get that other biter base up at the top there. Oh, there's some stuff that we picked up there. Huh, cool. Okay, so up here, it's like some small deposits. We want to add to the walls. I'm going to encompass this water area. I'm going to attack the base from the back here, I think. See how it's getting nighttime, which is kind of lights. Uh, okay, so let's see here. The biters are over here. So if we place a turret here, this sure we got lots of bullets let's get them to come yeah come on boys come on through the trees yo mofos eat some bullets eat some bullets oh uh, it's quick 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 oh yes okay now get this gun Okay, now comes the fun here. I'm going to do a gun here. Okay, so that's what we need. And then we do another one here. Oh man, they take a lot of, taking a lot of hits. Oh, shabam. Okay, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Repair this bad boy. And pick this up. Okay, we can pick this one up. Okay, yeah. My mofos, woo! There we go, we did it, we did it, we did it. That is amazing, that is amazing. Just looking at the time, we got about five minutes and then we're done, that's pretty cool, or around there. So we took care of those issues. We might have to go and exterminate these bad boys here, but I think everything else is under control. So now that you, oh, I forgot a turret way down here. Yeah, that's too funny. Well, we'll leave it there. There's no point getting it so far away. Okay, so now, now we can go back to focusing on our base. I'm going to put a doorway up here. Uh, so that way we can kind of get in. 510. Yeah, we need to automate this stuff. <laughs> I keep saying that. We definitely have to automate two, three. Oh man, come on, build, build, build. This, this marathon mode really slows things down, and those biters will slow us down as well. 
So you're, it's going to be like watching paint dry. Yeah. So if you like to watch paint dry, then thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for for continuing with this whole series and and, and seeing what we're doing. <laughs> How we're messing around in Factorio at the basic levels. I don't know if you're going to learn anything or much of anything. Even doing this stuff on, on marathon mode probably is a lot more challenging. I'm going to place a bunch of these. Let's put them up here. Ooh. Oh boy. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. That is beautiful. I like that. So, how are we going to do this? I can do this. Take that one. That one. Oh, come on. Those auto saves are annoying. <laughs> but they, they're very useful. I've had to use them many times. Many, many times. Let's place more up here. Okay, that looks like that fits nicely. Wow, just random walls and they, they fit nicely. I like it when walls uh, line up and the turrets line up. You don't have to do much you know, finagling with them. I usually move them you know, a little bit here and there. So there's a few deviations, but in the most part, I get them all set up. And I just like to put lots of turrets because I know it works. And that's why I do that. You don't have to do the same. You can do a different strategy. That's the cool thing about this game is there's there's multiple strategies to all different kinds of oh I didn't want to do that many so let's let's throw a few back okay let's take a hundred there these I think go into here which means that I have 34 I'm good um what else what else do we have here we have some more ammo we need to pick up can't let this ammo stop and we know it's a resource right so we'll just let it continue on because we know we need to use it to make these ones so i think what we'll do is we'll create steel processing here with the advanced material processing so we'll borrow a uh, build probably four of these smelting things and then we'll we'll just kind of come up use the fuel off this and we'll, we might have to do a separate line for the, the the iron, I think. Which means that this will all ramp up and hopefully you'll be able to keep up. We might have to build another set of these. So I would just kind of chain off of here and build another set down here above the stone. We need to start getting stone. That's another thing that we need. Oh man, oh man. So I think that is going to be an episode here. We'll do this in the next episode. So so thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate you all watching, you all sticking with it. Thank you for your eyeballs. You know, thank you for the new subscribers that I see. Just kind of amazing to see that I've gained some su subscribers in the past few months and I haven't been consistent with content. But I'm trying to be consistent for the weekends. Uh, my goal is to push out content on Saturdays and Sundays and then we'll kind of build up from there and, and go from there. You know, I want to make sure I have time and that I do some good content and yeah. And so other than that, you yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to my rambling and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye bye.